we'll see where this goes. The dollar had a little drop, but uh, back at uh, 8260. So with HG, is one of the things I wanted to point out was I'm looking for this trend to continue higher. I know Goat's watching this as well. Okay, as long as um, copper is moving higher, you want to see this for continuation and equities. Euro, euro, dollar. This is the uh, one minute chart. This is a daily on the HG. And this is the one minute on the SDES futures. Note on the DX that um, the daily, we have the 20 and the 50 crossing. Yes, looks like it's flagging a little bit here. Still a possibility we could build a shoulder here and move lower from here or just bounce off of this area and continue to move higher. I mentioned that I'm still in IBM after uh, an entry that occurred on Thursday uh, when Options Hawk mentioned his tweet at 10.15 a.m. that the 200s were bidding at 55 cents. I took a quick peek at this particular chart that I use to trade options and noticed on this candle here, okay, that was 10.30, so this is a 30 minute candle, that Bollinger Bands were starting to expand outward outside of the Keltner channel, which was a signal for me to take a long. Notice the, the MACD histogram pointing higher, you trade in the direction of the trend. So I liked everything that I saw with Options Hawk tweet. So I took 10 of the weekly 205s where we're bidding at 15 by 17. Split the bid, got them in at 16, got 10 of those, and then we took off. Okay, we flagged. I posted all this on stock twits as well as in the chat room. And I said on this, this flag here, that I was going to probably take half off, but I waited. And in the chat, I posted that I got out on this candle here early in the morning and was expecting a pullback, which is exactly what we got during the day. And we saw the compression of the Bollinger Bands again. We got the lower Bollinger Band inside the Keltner channel. And I'm watching MACD histogram to turn around and go back in the other direction. There's a number of people that posted interesting charts on the daily talking about IBM possibly breaking out and testing its previous range highs. Okay, we broke out of this descending channel. Tick and sand is below price and we have Chico up above the Kumo. So this is looking very interesting. We've got Kijin San is turning up through Kumo. I'd like to see more volume, but we could definitely test the highs that we put in in April. So I'm watching this this week to take the rest of those off. Hopefully we get a pop on Monday and I'll try to cycle in again at some point. Deck was a very similar trade. Uh, we were below Kumo at the time. Uh, Goat had mentioned in the room and I saw Chris Shar mention it as well that they were looking at this as a particular long. I don't remember the exact setup. I just remember looking at the chart early on in the morning. I think it must have been Wednesday or Thursday. No, it had to be Wednesday. I put this arrow on here for a reason. So we had a Tekin Kijin cross. And what I was looking for, I took options on this particular trade. I was looking, this is this arrow here. I was looking at the 60 minute first. Typically I'll look at the hourly chart. And I saw that the Bollinger Bands were expanding out of the Keltner channel. So I was looking at, at this point, we didn't see all of this. All we saw was this. Okay, we're at the upper Bollinger Band. I saw that we were MACD histogram was starting to point up, so I took the trade long with everyone in the room. And like Blue Fielder, I took uh, the 4750s, which were bidding at the time 20 cents, and held into Thursday, but but got out um, somewhere in this range here. Was it three o'clock or so? I got out early. I did make. What a nice return. I think I've sold at 68 to 70 cents, something like that. But we continue to roll higher, and Blue Fielder wound up getting out uh, towards the end of the day, making something like 1,200%. The options went from 20 cents up to $2.40, I think, when he sold uh, on this flag here. And 
it eventually closed at 270, I believe, 275. So it was something like 1400% on that options trade using the Bollinger Band Keltner Channel strategy uh, for myself. Okay. By the way, Apple is a really good uh, vehicle for trading uh, Keltner Bollinger Band um, signals. Okay, notice how many times we've had breakouts and move higher,s consolidate inside of Bollinger Bands. Note this is the hourly breakout, and then a move from 624 up to 637. Okay, so 13 points. This is the one where we we had that 12 point run in the 625s that uh, GTO did so well on and then we faded okay you wait for these Bollinger Bands to get back into the Kelton channel and then break out again we got the lower band here and then you trade back again in the uh, direction of MACD histogram and we had a nice move into Friday okay where we broke out and we had that 640 up to 648 level okay so Apple is a really good vehicle for trading uh, the Keltner Bollinger Band uh, setup. And I'm talking with options, by the way. You can check out uh, Stock Twits. I post there as well as in the uh, chat room at Day Trader Bootcamp. So you can keep track of the trades that I'm looking at. I usually post these within minutes. 11.16, that's the 60 minute. So it looks like it was 11.16, not 10.16, when I first noticed this. Okay, so there's your setup right there, posted on StockTwits and also in the chat room if you're a member of this setup for the IBM uh, 205s that really took off into Thursday and Friday. Okay, a couple of things I'm looking at, JCOM, J2 Global. Uh, nice, nice cup. Built a handle. We bounced off of Kijin. We're up of Tikin. And I'll be looking for a long, if the markets move higher, um, scalp sh uh, swing, short swing. Okay, notice that the, we have a level up here we need to get above. Okay, 30.17. If we get back above this high here, we can get into the Kirby and move higher. Note stochastics. Oversold and continuing higher. MACD's turning. Okay, look, we're going to have some MA crosses, EMA crosses. So let's keep an eye on that. Look at the 50 period coming up and moving through the 200 this week. And price is just below the 20 period. No, Paul Wolf just posted this on Twitter at uh, 20 minutes to 7. We got KMB, Kimberly Clark. Stochastics are oversold, looking to move higher. MACD is turning, We've got nice volume. Let's look at the um, nice bounce off of Kumo, which looks decent. Uh, wouldn't, I'm not going to do an options trade here, but you can see MACD histogram is definitely moving to the upside. Looks good overall. Thanks, Paul. Fact set, FDS, notice that the uh, Bollinger Bands are inside of uh, Mac, uh, the Keltner channel. Looking for a decision here on the daily. Let's look at... We have resistance at the uh, Kumo just above, so we're going to have to work this out, work this off to get through this resistance here. There's a Kirby up above this level. Little pocket we've got there up to the 98 level. This whole sideways consolidation is going to uh, break one way or another, so this looks good. FAST, Fastenal is looking decent. MACD is rolling up. Stochastics is looking to move higher. We've got daily Bollinger Bands. Eh, it's a little bit of a stretch, but if this, this cranks up higher, it looks like we're going to get a uh, move right now, uh, this Monday. MACD histograms continue to point higher. Uh, we could get some movement. Notice where the highs are at 54, we're at 44. We take out this level here. It could be interesting. Uh, I'd love to see when earnings are as well as what the short percent is. So fast is 5.64% short. And it looks like earnings are October 11th, so we're a ways off. 
So note the Ichimoku chart that we had a Kumo breakout on the daily on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So technically Wednesday, we closed above span B. Okay, we got Tikin Kijin cruising higher, and we got Chiku inside of Kumo. We've got a Kirby up here at this level. We've already tested it once, once, twice, so it looks like we could get, get cruising here. Fast is going to probably be one of my better setups for the week. Note what I said earlier on in part one regarding the uh, NASDAQ. Duncan, uh, DNKN, this is looking kind of weak. It looks like we're building a bear flag here. Yeah, if we look at, yeah, we're definitely looking weak. Definitely trending lower. We'll wait for the uh, Bollinger Bands to get inside the Keltner for a trade here. If the market lo moves lower, this is one of the stocks we'll probably be looking at for a short. Domino's looking pretty good. Domino's Pizza. Nice cup that we're building here. Uh, we could move a little bit higher. We're at 78.06 on the Stochastics. Let's look at the uh, Keltner Bollinger Bands. We're already expanded. We didn't get back into it, but we bounced off the 20 period. And MACD histogram is pointing higher. So it's possible this could continue higher going into the week. Okay. We had a nice breakout a couple of three weeks, four weeks ago. Right in the middle of July. And Domino's looking pretty sweet. Okay, we have this volume at price level, Kirby, that we could move up into as well. Dollar Tree, maybe something that we can look at here if this manages to move back up uh, for a short if the market gets weak. I don't know what happened here, but this didn't look good. Okay, we're down below Kumo and uh, decidedly bearish. Well, you can see what happened when um, Keltner Channel even got outside of the Bollinger Band. That's pretty extreme. Obviously, it's an extreme move on Thursday. So, let's keep an eye on that. This did get back above the 200 period. But uh, does it foresee something uh, coming? Who knows? And that's pretty substantial volume. All right. Traded 2,204,000 shares. So, it's a bit above the uh, average, as you can see. Listening to cars, my son's watching next to me. Discovery is also in a range. Uh, this is, these charts, by the way, are pointed out by uh, RS Blades on Stocktwits. Okay, so he gets credit for the scans. But I like what I'm seeing here. I mean, it's a nice. Horizontal channel, we've got stochastics and MACD rolling over. Okay. Looks pretty interesting. And we'll see what happens when we get down to Kumo. So keep an eye on this one if the uh, market gets weak. Also, like Delta for a short. Uh, looks like a bear flag here. Got some consolidation. We got Mac. It looks like we got the uh, on a daily. We've got uh, all your bands moving back into the uh, Keltner channel. Keep an eye on this for a reverse and possibly a move lower. This goes a minute coming to you from Day Trader Bootcamp.